So as I complete my transition from the East Coast to the West Coast and start to begin grad school, I wanted to leave you guys with some places where you can find science online. So here are some of my favorite places to find science online organized by social media type. So if you, like me, spend way too much of your time on YouTube, you need to check out Shed Science videos by Sally LePage. They are fantastic. Her videos are funny and smart and gorgeously edited and shot and put together. They are what my videos want to be when they grow up. I am constantly in awe of the videos that she puts out and she tackles subjects like GMOs and altruism and she does it in such a clear, concise way and she's just hysterical. She's funny. These videos are great. They're entertaining and they're educational and they're intelligent and I think they're fantastic. So if you want some more cool science videos by another cool science YouTuber, check out Sally LePage. If you're more of a Tumblr person, you have to check out It's Okay To Be Smart by Joe Hansen. He also has It's Okay To Be Smart YouTube videos, but his Tumblr is really where everything started and it's fantastic. He pulls together from all different areas of science, cool pictures and videos and blog posts and just, he sort of curates the best of the science web into this one Tumblr. And I'm not a Tumblr person, but even I will spend hours and hours scrolling through the It's Okay To Be Smart pages because it is indeed okay to be smart. And he gives you some fantastic, fun, fabulous things to look at. Now, if you're a Twitter person, you should follow Ed Yong. Ed is a science writer and he just makes some great science articles for National Geographic and Nature. And he takes these really complicated papers and distills them into understandable reviews. They're fantastic and really interesting looks at things that are currently going on in science. But his Twitter also pulls together a lot of the cool things happening in science around the internet. And part of his Twitter bio says that he works the wow beat. And I think that that's a really accurate description. If there is something wow happening in science right now, it'll pop up on Ed Yong's Twitter. Now, if you're a Google Plus person, you should be following the Google Science Fair. Now, sure, the Google Science Fair is sort of wrapping up, but they continue to post really cool, exciting things on their page. Every time I pull up my Google Plus homepage, it is full of Google Science Fair posts about awesome, amazing, fun things in science. Or maybe you don't want to get your science from a social media website. Well, nature.com slash news. This is where I get a lot of the ideas for my videos. It's the news and comments section of the journal Nature. And they publish reviews about things that they have put out, articles that Nature has published, as well as articles published in other prominent science journals. So if there is something cool in science that has been published recently, you can probably find a review or article about it there. And so it'll give you what happened in the paper, sort of what conclusions they came from, as well as future implications and sometimes interviews and quotes from the professors who did it. So it's a really cool way to sort of get a grasp on what is currently being published in science. I think that the news and comments section of Nature is fantastic and it's where a lot of Bite Size comes from. So in my scattered absences in the next couple of weeks, I hope I provided you with plenty of places online where you can find exciting science happening every single day. And if you wanna keep track of me as I go through this crazy transitional period of my life, you can follow me on Twitter at Alex Danis, or you can follow the Bite Size page on Facebook at facebook.com slash bitesized, or there's even now a Bite Sized Google Plus page. So you can follow any of those. Links will be in the doobly-doo, and you should leave links to your favorite places to find science online in the comments so that other people can see those as well and so you guys can sort of share your favorite places and maybe introduce me to some new ones too. I'm always looking for cool places to find science. So as you go forwards into the world, remember to go forth and do science. Or maybe uh, it's flying right over, really low right overhead. Here, in addition to the airplane, it makes the outtake real. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's delicious. Oh, it's really good. Well, lemon gelato and airplanes. Home's not so bad.